All right, guys, how's it going? KTP3 here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much today, Naughty Dog is holding a Uncharted 4 multiplayer bonus weekend, and pretty much this give thanks of uh, being it, it being very successful, selling 2.7 uh, million uh, units in the first week. Uh, well, yeah, selling 6.2 ah, selling 2.7 million units. I don't know why I was tongue twisted there. I had it at first. Um, developer Naughty Dog is running the promotion as a thank you to the fans and pretty much who made uh, you know Uncharted 4's a launch a massive success. It says here the event will run until Tuesday, May 31st at 12 p.m. Pacific. Uh, it's pretty good. It says right here uh, May 27th for four days, 50% relic bonus on all challenges, 70% discount on all variety item bundles. Um, and that's pretty cool and pretty much I've been enjoying the multiplayer I upload a lot of multiplayer content to it I definitely got a lot more coming in the next couple weeks still had to do my first impressions on the multiplayer and single player don't know if it's overdone I think it's overdone I don't know if people still want to see that if you want to see that comment below if you want to see my impressions of the multiplayer or single player uh, but honestly I think I think I just think thought about something right now I did a uh, impressions with uh, six mile red rum so I think I don't have to do that uh, we're definitely going to do a review together because we're doing a lot of collaborations of videos and stuff. I'm helping him out as well. Uh, you know, he's my, he's my, uh, that's my dude. So, um, uh, I, we may have a review probably sometimes this weekend. I got to get him up there. You know, pretty much he's working and he's doing a whole bunch of stuff now. So, uh, yeah, I pretty much got to, you know, hopefully do a review. But not, if not tonight, then sometime tomorrow when I upload it probably saturday or something like that but yeah i definitely can't wait to play this definitely i've been playing enjoying the game i definitely going today uh probably tonight i'm definitely going for the platinum i haven't gone for the platinum yet you know play the second single player again uh, i'm almost there uh i have got caught a lot so there's a lot of collectibles in that one so i think it's like 193 so definitely can't wait to play this again and uh yeah it's definitely been you know pretty good pretty fun uh, on top of that, the e, uh, the Order 1886 developer's next game will be revealed next week. That pretty much it says, Ready at Dawn, the developer behind PS4 exclusive, the Order 1886, will reveal its new game for next week. The news was announced by GameStop, GameStop, GameStop COO Tony Bartol on the uh, retailer's first uh, quarter investor call. I don't know why I'm messing up today. It must be a Friday. You know, I haven't drank my coffee yet. But... The Order 1886, I have not still played it yet. I know it's, 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 it's weird. I downloaded it a long time ago when it was on the PSN Flash sale for 10 bucks. I think I got a good deal because it definitely, I heard a lot of good things about it. The thing was, it was very, the, the story, I mean that story, the story was pretty decent. The gameplay was pretty fun, but the game was just short, about five, seven hours. Um, so, just like the TMNT movies in Manhattan, it's pretty much a little shorter than that. I, no, I think the Order 1886 is actually a little bit longer than that game, to be honest with you. But pretty much, uh, many people, uh, even myself, it, we heard that the game was going to be short, and many people wanted the online mode, and that kind of probably can be more replay value. Uh, but pretty much, Order 1886, from what I heard, was actually graphical amazing. Uh, pretty much, it, the gameplay was pretty knowledgeable. It's just pretty much one of the downfalls was, uh, I heard the story could be a little bit more fleshed out, a little bit more, uh, uh, more uh, you know, more uh, worked on, and pretty much the game is very short. Um, and pretty much on the sequel, we don't like we don't know what's going to happen, uh, what that next game is going to be. It may be a sequel, but probably I can sense a sequel coming out because pretty much I think it sold about like two million units uh, worldwide right now. I don't know, uh, haven't checked it yet, but uh, pretty much yeah, I definitely see another sequel to this game coming. This may be the game next reveal. Uh, or maybe a new IP, but I definitely think it's going to be the Order 1886 or a sequel to it. You know, that's one of the main things um, as well. But we don't know. We just got to wait till next week, and pretty much they're probably going to show more about that game, hopefully at E3. And on top of that, Cyberpunk, uh, let's see, Cyberpunk 2077, 20, 2077, uh, not coming to E3, but another game from Witcher Dev might be. Uh, it says right here, we still got a lot of work to do with Cyberpunk. And pretty much right here it says, uh, with E3 2016 right around the corner, the Witcher developer CD Project Red has now confirmed that its upcoming uh, Desmonic RPG Cyberpunk 2077 will not be at the show. It says we still got a lot of work to do with Cyberpunk. Uh, CG Project Red boss Merlin Inkrink, I think I messed that name wrong, I know I said it wrong, told uh, Eurogamer it might happen that we will be at E3 and we will show something at E3, but I just want to make sure. I just want to make it clear it's not cyberpunk so pretty much 
uh, this was actually a little bit teased about a couple of months ago. I think I did a video as well that this, they're working on another game that I think is set to come out this year. Uh, I don't know if that's confirmed or not. But pretty much it may be something like an indie game, maybe a small game, maybe a small indie RPG game or something like that, uh, or something very, or another IP that they've been working on for a while and they're just now releasing it. I think it's going to be an indie game, a little short game to keep people to wondering. I did see an article, I did see a link yesterday, uh, I got this link from um, GameSpot, I did see a link yesterday that it may, it may play, it may um, have some similarities or may relate to The Witcher. Three, so that's kind of interesting, you know. Maybe some type of Witcher spinoff or something, or something, you know, dealing with the Witcher world with a new character. I don't know. So that's definitely interesting. Now with the with the with the Witcher three uh, doing pretty well, you know, and many people waiting for Cyberpunk uh, twenty seven seven. This game probably gonna fill in the gap till Cyberpunk 2077 gets released. So good good thing um, on Project Red. That's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Let me know what you think about this game and news. Uh, are you excited about the Uncharted uh, multiplayer um, bonuses? Let me know what you think about the the evil, not evil fan, the Order 1886 uh, developer uh, making a new game, announcing a new game next week. Do you think it's going to be a sequel to the game? Do you think it's going to be a new IP? And what do you think? What this new uh, this new uh, Project Red game is going to be about? Is it going to be a new indie game? I heard it's going to, like I said, it's going to be relating to something to The Witcher 3, maybe a new character within The Witcher 3 world. We have not know. We just got to wait until E3 about it. And yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this game. Ah, this video, I'm messing up here. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more gameplay, gaming news, and game discussion. Have a nice one, folks.